I'm Lardo. And I'm Burley. And we're, we're the, the Moron, Moron Brothers. Brothers. Welcome to another Moron cast. <laughs> I forget the numbers of them. We can't even count that high no more. <laughs> What been up to, brother? Hard work, that's all I know. I know it, hard shop work. Shop organization. Keep you geared up like a mule all the time. Now my shop piled up so much, I've been building shelves. To put, I found stuff I didn't even know I had. Still in the box. Uh -huh. I'm the same way at our house. I, I tell you, my, my wife is a bona fide, you can get papers on her, a hoarder. She hoards the high. The house burned down in 2003, we lost everything. By 2006, <laughs> it, you couldn't walk in there for the stuff. I don't know where it come from. But anyway, I've been gardening. Gardening? Yeah. I, got I was going to, but I couldn't find no bacon seeds. I don't know why. I got the... Mater juice. My wife put up so much tomato juice, and boy, I'm telling you, it's pretty and good. Oh, and good for you. It is, but you got to be careful, <laughs> especially when you eat it with sweet corn. Oh, Lordy. I've got some sweet corn, the mater juice I brought up here to buy them. But if you drink that mater juice and eat sweet corn, be careful about <laughs> coughing and everything because it's uh, dangerous. <laughs> And I wouldn't eat it on Saturday night, but you gotta go to church and sit there for a couple of hours the next Sunday, and that's tough to do. But been gardening, yeah. But boy, it's been hot. They gone. My little squirrel dog Chigger chased a squirrel yesterday afternoon across the yard. They're both walking. It's so hot. But uh, been picking corn and. Tomatoes and I got some okra. I like, I love fried okra. And Jeannie fried up some of that okra and it was about as slick <laughs> as the corn and tomato juice, but uh, <coughs> baloney. You've been I, busy then, ain't you? <laughs> I've been busy, boy. I've been busy in them caps on, on the castor oil. But uh, <coughs> we, uh, I've got to, I'll tell you what helps me more than anything. About once a week, I'll go to Fitch's and get a pound and a half of bologna and a pound of cheese. Can't beat that. And I try not to eat no maters with mm. it. <laughs> that helps me a whole lot. But anyway, enough about that. We uh, ain't been playing a whole lot. Been playing a few festivals, but uh, I got to looking for songs that uh, public domain and this one popped up and this one we used to do all the time and we're gonna try to render it off for you here it uh, it's a song about a you call it Louis, it's Louis I, I always said it was Louisville we was coming through Louisville and he said no it's Louisville that's how you spell it Louisville I said no it's Louisville and he said, no, I spelled Louisville, so I'm going to call it Louisville. I said, I'll tell you what, next person we see standing around here at the stoplight on the corner, we'll ask them. Well, there's a little boy standing there eating an ice cream cone. I pulled over and I said, son, could you tell us where we are, but say it real slow so he can understand? The little boy said, Dairy Queen. But anyway, this song is about Louisville. Well, I've traveled over this country while I seek and fortune fair. I've been up to Gold Line and traveled everywhere. Portland East, Portland West, and back along the line. I'm going now to the place that's the best, that old old town of mine. Eight more miles to Louisville, and it's coming to my view. Eight more miles on the soul road, and heaven more be blue. I knew someday I'd come back and do it from the start. Eight more miles to Louisville, home now, pick it, brother. Sure that there 
there's a gal somewhere that you like best of all. Mine lives down in Louisville, she's long, she is tall. She's the kind you can't find rambling through the land. I'm on my way this very day to win her heart and hand. Eight more miles to Louisville, it's coming to my view. Eight more miles on this old road, seven more baby blue. I knew someday that I'd come back and it from the start. Eight more miles to Louisville, the home down to my heart. Now there's a picture in my mind, a place to call her home. On the little hut, the two will never more to know. Place that's right for that love starts in the bluegrass hills. Where gently flows the Ohio by a place called Louisville. Eight more miles to Louisville, and it's coming to my view. Eight more miles on the door road, I'll never more be blue. I knew someday that I'd come back and do it from the start. Eight more miles to Louisville, take it again, brother. Paul Jones. Uh, on a country road, it's a long eight miles. You ain't kidding. I know Grandpa Jones was a, he was a good songwriter. Remember my old songs? Here, right yeah, right here. Yeah, 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 right here. Falling Leaves. That was the best song he ever wrote right there. Falling Leaves. The only thing you take with you when you go is what you gave away. That was a good one. We need to do that. All right, then. One day, and not today. Day. Well, I think it's about time for the riddles. What do you think? Yeah. I got some riddles, and I got some news from home. Not a whole lot. It's been so hot. But, uh, I got a little, a couple little things I'm going to start doing. I'm talking about the horse, cowboys' horses. I, me and J.D. Crow, we used to love to play trivia on that. All right, this riddle here. First riddle. We may have done this one before. Your uncle's sister is not your aunt. Who is she? Don't answer if you know it. Your uncle's sister is not your aunt. Who is she? <coughs> Don't look. All right, we're moving right along. I've got you stumped already. Everybody's family ain't like his. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how much you use me, you change me every month. No matter how much you use me to change me every month. That's an easy one. I know that. Okay. Spelled forward, I'm something you do every day. Spelled backwards, I'm something you hate. Spell forward, I'm something you do every day. Spell backward, I'm something you hate. We'll give you the answers at the end of the show. Oh, this is the easy one. What runs but never walks? Murmurs but never talks. Has a bed but never sleeps. And has a mouth but never speaks. That's the easy one. Well, it goes a little bit slower. You're going too fast. What runs but never walks? What murmurs but never talks? Has a bed but never sleeps? Has a mouth but never speaks? That's an easy one. I knew that one. If I knew it, it would be easy. Yeah, but you know why you... Bounce you know, got it. You know why your uncle's sister ain't changed either. <laughs> 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 All right. Now, everybody knows what the Lone Ranger's horse's name was, right? Tell the folks out there what the Lone Ranger's horse's name was. Silver. Silver. 
Howl Silver, away. All right. What was Tonto's horse's name? Spot. <laughs> no, it wasn't Spot. <laughs> spot. Or he said guess. I, I mean, well. <laughs> he, he was a pinto, but I'll give you a clue. It's kind of the same thing that Kimosabi means. Oh, that's why the Long Ranger shot Tonto. He no, found no. a chemo zombie, man. <laughs> no. He shot him, too. No. Anyway, give you the answer at the end of the show. News from home. This comes in from Brooklyn. Uncle Ben came in to fit his IGA the other day. <coughs> he looked like he'd been beat with an ugly stick. Leonard and Duckleg and Hoghead asked him, What happened to you? He said, I was stopped by a young smart aleck cop in Nicholsville for running a stop sign. I told him I was driving slow and I slowed down a lot for the stop sign. He said, there's a difference between stopping and slowing down. I said, not that much. He started hitting me with his billy club and asked, do you want me to stop or slow down? I said, stop, I get your point. All right, this is Wilmore. This is for you, Mama. Two young professors from Asbury College came in to fit his IGA for a fried bologna sandwich the other day. One young professor was from Alabama. He asked the other professor, where'd you get your degree from? What was your football team's mascot name? And the other guy said, Bulldogs. The Alabama man said, Georgia? The other guy said, Yale. The Alabama said, I will. Roll Crimson Tide. He said, no, Yale. Y-A-L-E. Alabama man didn't get it. He hollered, though. All right. One of the largest in Nicholsville, largest funeral possessions in Jessamine County was the other day. Bidge Turner's mother-in-law. Everyone asked, how did she die? Bide said my mule kicked her in the head. There was 20 or 30 men that followed us to the cemetery and asked, did the mule really kick your mother-in-law? I said, yep, and I auctioned that mule off that day for $750. Uncle Ben and Aunt Judy went to the Louisville to the zoo a couple of weeks ago. Louisville or Louisville? Louisville to the zoo a couple of weeks ago. When they came to the primate cage, Uncle Ben said to Aunt Judy, they look like your kinfolk. Aunt Judy said, they are. They're my in-laws. <coughs> All right. We got one more, I think. There was a fried bologna banquet for a fundraiser by the ladies' auxiliary at the new volunteer fire station in High Bridge. The old one burned down. Some of the ladies reported hearing a conversation between the men there. It seems that Duck Leg Watson had got lost the other night, raccoon honey, and they asked him how he finally found his way out. He replied, I probably had too much of Uncle Ben's moonshine, but I always carry a deck of cards for help. All you have to do when you get lost and alone is start playing solitary and no matter what time, day or night, someone will always come walking up to tell you what card to play next. And sure enough, here come David Gross from one direction looking for his cow. And my wife came from the other direction looking for me. And they both started telling me what card to play next. It always works. Uh, there's some current events going on there. They talk about at the deli at Fitch's. Dwight Blakeman. He asked a question. He said, nobody could answer. See if you can, folks out there. If socialism is so good and capitalism is so bad, why ain't the caravan of people going to Venezuela? <coughs> I can't answer that. That's a good question, I think. Bulldog Beecham, he asked everybody, said $50,000 electric cars are such a good idea. I believe if they brought back the electric chair, we'd get more done. 
<laughs> that's news from home, current events and all. I got stuff to read. Yeah, that's always entertaining, it's, whether it's right or not. I know I got in trouble again the other day, kind of. Uh, Jeannie told me, said, I'm going to have to go down there on the shanty boat, said, there's some college girls down there swimming off your shanty boat, some Asbury College up there, said they ain't got no clothes on, I don't think. From Asbury College? Yeah, oh, they do things too, them kids, you know how they are. But anyway, I said, I'll take care of this, you stay here. Grabbed the bucket and headed down over the bank. Well, they said, look, old man, we see you. We ain't going to get out of this water. And you ain't going to see us. We ain't got no clothes on. We're not going to let you see us. Well, I just shook that bucket and said, you don't have to get out, but uh, don't pay no attention to me because I just come down here to feed my alligators. <laughs> they, they left the river. Them Kentucky River alligators is bad. <laughs> they bad down there around Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, they are. Uncle Ben, I was talking about him. I knew from home. He got in trouble again. Down there at the tavern. Had too much to drink again. There he was. Went in the bathroom. And commenced to holler. The bartender said, what's the matter, Ben? He said, every time I flush this toilet, it pinches me. And everybody in there hollered, get up off the mop bucket. You're on the mop bucket again, Ben. Mm. <laughs> he, he, he had way too much drink yeah, in him. He, 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 um, look here. Look here. No sin. Marriage is made in heaven. Amen. But so is thunder and lightning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you that bad right there. Yeah. Okay. If you're not yelling at your kids, you're not spending enough time with them. That's right. <laughs> and uh, let's see. When your children are teenagers, it's important to have a dog so that there'll be somebody at home glad to see you when you come you home from work. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Yeah, and let's see. Oh, I got this buddy. He got four boys. <coughs> and I asked him, I said, if you had it to do all over again, would you still have kids? He said, yeah, just not these four. Yeah. <laughs> and and then Lucas, you know Lucas, going, he going to Adbury. He going to Adbury. He just had a birthday, but he going to Adbury. And the professor asked him the other day, where was his homework? He said, still in my pencil. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty, he pretty, he pretty, pretty slick. pretty slick now Lucas is. Yeah, let's see. Oh, I was told one time, don't give up on your dreams. So I went back to sleep. <laughs> there, there you go. Uh, let's see. What, what if somebody asked Lucas the other day, he said, you're going to have to do better or something? So he yeah, he said, I said, yeah, you, you're 19, you know, when you, you last year a teenager, I said, well, next year they're going to expect more out of you. He says, about as tall as I'm going to get. <laughs> yeah. He quick, boy. Look here. <coughs> Now, it's a known fact nowadays that people are a prisoner of their phones. That's why they call them cell phones. Hey, that's good. That's good yeah. right there. Yeah. Let's see. I'm not lazy. I'm just in energy-saving mode. That's conservative. Yeah, there you go. Let's see. Oh, I got a good one here. This weasel walks into a bar. <laughs> and the bartender said, wow, weasel. I ain't never served a weasel before. What can I get you? Pop go the weasel. <laughs> That's now, stupid. I know it is. Let's see. Ah, oh, it says, people say money is not the key to happiness. But if you got enough money, you can probably buy a key. Yeah. Have a key made. But anyway, that's, uh, that's it. That's about all this guy walks into the doctor's office. He said, Doc, help me. I'm addicted to Twitter. Doc said, I'm sorry, I don't follow you. See, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't get it neither because I don't do Twitter. And I don't know nothing about it. But, but you hear where that skeleton walked into a bar? What'd he say? He ordered a beer and a mop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, all right. All right, then. We got another song. <clears throat> 
Let me get my banjo <coughs> strapped on. What about this? We've got a picture here. Lincolnton, Georgia. Lincolnton, Georgia at the Little Roy Lewis Festival. And uh, they, I don't know what it is, but people like to paint pictures of them. <laughs> and uh, well, I brought this up here to show the folks. I'm gonna set it right here on this barrel. And we're gonna go into this song. We got the, uh, I know it's been awful hot. Man, poor people down there in eastern Kentucky, going through all them floods, lost everything, it's pitiful. But you can't do nothing about the weather. And it's a good thing that God's in charge of it instead of us. Can you imagine what kind of shape it'd be in? We got an old song here that uh, Mac Wiseman, when I first heard it. We're going to try to do it. We ain't never done it before, but I always like this song. We're going to do it not as fast as we did it there. But uh, it's called The Little White Church. There's a little white church in the valley that stands in my memory today it seems that I can hear the bells ring and though I'm many miles away and every single Sunday morning the whole countryside would gather there they'd all kneel down at the altar and lift their voices up in prayer oh the church in the valley, little white church is the place I love so well. I'm sad and lonely, sad and lonely for the little white church in the dell. of ages, Christ will let me hide myself in thee, and I know that somewhere some are waiting, far across the dark and stormy sea, I know that their troubles are ended, happy forever they will be, they're waiting and watching up yonder, for the coming home of you and me. Oh, the church in the valley, little white church is the place I love so well. I'm sad and lonely, so sad and lonely for the little white church in the pick one, brother. Time for the riddles, brother. Throw them on me. I'm, I'm going to test you. Got some answers. All right. Your uncle's sister is not your aunt. Who is she? Mother. You cheated. I did not. I'm <clears throat> you cheated. If your mother's sister. Your mother's sister. Your uncle's sister. 
Hey, my uncle's sister's not your aunt, who is she? One I always had trouble with. Brothers and sisters, I have none, but this man's father is my father's son. Who is that? I tried to figure through that, and I never could. It, the answer didn't make sense to me, so I didn't go with it, but think on that. Brothers and sisters, I have none, but this man's father is my father's son. My son. I don't know. No, I ain't what the answer to. Mm -hmm. All right. No matter how much you use me, you change me every <clears throat> month. Calendar. You got that one. You know, Leonard told me, Fitch, that there's two guys stole a calendar down there off him. Said they each got six months. <laughs> uh, spelt forward, I'm something you do every day. Spelled backwards, I'm something you hate. Brother Bill talks about it in church all the time, too, sometimes. It's something you hate. But you do it every day, spell forwards. L-I-V-E-E-V-I-L. -E -E -V -I -L. Yeah. Live and evil. All right, now. What runs, now Bama's got this one. Tomato juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we ain't gonna die, ain't gonna dispute that by no means. <clears throat> Especially with corn. All right, what runs but never walks, <clears throat> murmurs but never talks, has a bed but never sleeps, and has a mouth but never speaks? I, I know that I know what that is. Mama knows. It runs right in front of my house. River. It runs but never walks. Murmurs but never talks. Has a bed but never sleeps and has a mouth but never speaks. <coughs> it has alligators. Yeah, yeah. alligator not Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. You remember the time we went fishing at the mouth of the Kentucky River in Carrollton? Yep. It's a Point Park right there where the Kentucky River empties into the Ohio. Well, on the other side of the Ohio River, Indiana and Ohio come together. On this side is Kentucky. Well, we was fishing with Tim Farmer down there one day, catching catfish. And I didn't know there was such a thing as an international game warden. But he pulled up alongside the boat, said, boy, are you having any luck? And Burley pulled the fish over into the boat. Well, the game warden looked at him. He said, boys, said, let me check these fish out. And he picked one of them up, and he stuck his finger in the business end of that catfish. He said, that's an Ohio catfish. Have you all got your Ohio fishing license? We all three showed them to him. Picked up another catfish, stuck his finger in the end of him there, and he said, that's uh, Indiana catfish. Let me see them Indiana license. We well, showed them to him, all three of us. He said, well, you got Kentucky license on your boat. The rest of these fish are probably from Kentucky. He said, y'all got your Kentucky license? Yes, sir. We all three showed them to him. He said, ah, you boys is pretty sharp. Where are y'all from? Tim Farmer bent up, stood up and bent over and said, you so smart, you tell me. But that Tim Farmer, he didn't want to go fishing with us after that. All right, back to the riddles. Oh, we're done with the riddles. Now we're going on. Everybody knows Lone Ranger's horse, the name was Silver. What was Tonto's horse's name? Now, a lot of y'all are going to know this. Me and J.D. Crow, we knew about all of them. But, uh, J.D. told me it was Spot. No, he did not. <laughs> scout. Scout. And that's what Kimasabi means, most trusty scout. A lot of people didn't know that. There you go. The Long Ranger and Tonto ride the trail, shooting outlaws and putting them in jail. The Long Ranger shot Tonto, though it seems, he found out what chemo sabi means. No, no, come on. <laughs> All right. That's the news from home, folks, and the riddles. First one was mother. Second one was calendar. Third one was live and evil and river was the answer to the riddles. All right.
<laughs> now we are uh, riddle. Before we leave here, I want to tell you all to go to the moronbrothersstore.com. We have got product on there, baloney hats. We've got CDs. We've got DVDs. And uh, we can sure use your help. So check us out on the moronbrothersstore.com. And I think we're about ready to close this in prayer, and I believe it's my turn. Thank you all for for tuning in. I hope we've done something to help you forget all your problems. Dear Heavenly Father, we humble ourselves so we come before you. We thank you. We, we just thank you so much for the many things you give us each and every day. Our health, our wealth, our families, our children, our church, our pastors. We thank you so much for all these blessings, our homes. We pray for the victims, flood victims, not only in eastern Kentucky, but all over the United States seems like right now. We pray for those people who lost everything, dear Heavenly Father. We lift up our country to you, the leaders of our country. We want to pray that somehow somebody can make them understand they need to use the Bible as a rule book for this country. Get into the Word and use it to go by. We pray for our military all over the world that's fighting for freedom all over the world. We lift them up to you along with the first responders, dear Heavenly Father, that fight to save our lives and property. And we ask, dear Heavenly Father, that you forgive us where we fall short. And in all things, thy will be done, not our will. For it's in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.